You know what? It's absolutely fucking boiling. Hello, it's getting into September now. It's coming into the end of the year, so I'm making the most of it whilst I can. So, hello, you alright? Um, I've forgotten my earplugs. So, if I'm shouting, you know, you don't have to forget how loud helmets are, especially race helmet. I hope, I hope everyone's doing okay, but I'm a bit pissed off. I'm on my way up to Chester KTM. Last night I was, I was, you know, I was up riding back from someone's house last night and then I saw a copper in front of me. Hello mate. I saw a copper in front of me and I thought to myself, right, keep away from this guy. I ended up getting behind him at a traffic light and I was going really, really slowly. You know, I was trying to go as fucking slow and as thingy as possible, which then obviously made me stick out like a sore thumb. And basically, see what happened was, I noticed that he was meant to be turning left. I saw in this mirror here that he just stopped in that left-hand lane and I thought, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. And next thing you know, he's behind me. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's a squirrel. All right, squirrel. How's it going, mate? And he was following me for half a mile or so. He did indeed nab me um, for my plate. So he did have me. That's a very dangerous move, that mate, considering they could have pulled out. And yeah, so he pulled me up. It's about 12 o'clock at night. Hello, mate. Ooh, nice. That sounds so good. That V4. Oh, my God. And yeah, they ended up putting the blues on like they did last time and pulled over. I was like, what have I done? You know, what have I done now? And I kind of knew in the back of my mind it was probably that was the problem. And so I kind of just was like, is it the plate? You know, <laughs> it's one of them. Hello, mate. You forget about these things, don't you? Uh, because I'm not looking at it all the time, I forget that it's a thing. And so basically what he did is he said the whole, you know, or whatever the recitement speech is, I can't remember now, but it's, you know, the whole whatever you rely on in court thing. Um, and he basically gave me a ticket, but it wasn't an actual ticket, it, it was something different. Wait, where the fuck am I going here? And so yeah, I ended up getting, uh, I don't know if it was an arrest, but he said the whole spiel, and what I have to do, is within 14 days, I think it's got like a vehicle rectification notification or some bollocks. What that does is it means I have to get it sorted within 14 days and get it signed off by an MOT, uh, like a stamp on a bit of paper. I've got to then get that piece of paper to the police, my local constabulary, and basically get that handed in. By the way, that's illegal. Just have a fire next to a main road. Just going to follow this. Don't know where I'm going, but... So they gave me a little piece of paper and about half an hour later my Mackies was cold. Oh, I just said to the guy, I was like, my Mackies is getting cold. <laughs> I just want to go home, mate. I'm so tired. You know, and it's one of them. It's my own fault. But at the end of the day, I've gotten away with it again, kind of, you know, and, and thankfully I didn't get a ticket or anything. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those. So basically what I'm doing right now is uh, being faffed around. Oh, well done, mate. Yeah. Cheers for that, you fucking knob. Oh, I was meant to go down there. Oh Jesus Christ, this fucking sat nav. Yeah, so what, what I'm doing now is I'm actually on my way to Chester KTM. I've never been here before. I rung up my, well I went to my local first, which was 2 Max. They were closed. Don't know where I'm going. <laughs> bloody hell. What is that? Jesus Christ. It's like church. It's a nice house that, bloody hell. I, I spoke to the potteries and they said, yeah we can get you in but it'll be 20 quid. I was like, right, okay. And he just basically referred, Adam, um, nice guy. Wow, look at that place. Fucking Jesus, that's really nice houses around here. He just turned around and said, look, talk to K uh, Chester KTM. And I didn't realise Chester KTM were a thing. I completely forgot they weren't. They were new and they were opening and stuff. So I basically gave them a call. Really, really nice, actually. Really nice people. They've just said, yeah, we could do that for you. Uh, just pop down and we'll stamp it. And yeah, because I've put the old registration plate back on. So basically the problem is with the plates. So according to Chester KTM is that the plate sizes changed last year. They got bigger, which is a bit weird. Like I didn't realize that. Now it's not something that seems to be commonly relayed to people. So the, the plate sizes got bigger, but the font sizes stayed the same, which is a bit weird because that copper from Ruthin uh, from Wales basically said you can have, as long as the font is okay, the, the plate size doesn't necessarily matter. So now I know that that is either a Welsh thing or it's bollocks. I don't know. Who, who's chatting what shite here? You know what I mean? Oh, look at these. <laughs> Over the crest of these hills here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is where we're going. We're going to go and basically get this stamped up. Then I've got to go to my local police department, my constabulary, and hand it in and basically say, I've been a naughty boy, 
don't do it again. Otherwise, if I don't do it in two weeks, oh. <laughs> come on, Babby. No, no, no. You know, it's another slap on the wrist and, and get on with it kind of thing. Which is fine, you know, I could have got a ticket, I could have got points and all that, but for a reg plate. And more importantly, my Mackies went cold. Wow, that's a nice view, bloody hell. It's like Helkin. I don't know if you can see over there, there's like a big water tower in the distance. My great granddad helped design that. It's kind of cool. And there is another issue, actually. Uh, I'm actually going because my front rotors are warped. And I'm not sure why, how or where, but... I mean, Frodsham, I could have taken the quick way. This is not the quick way. Fucking bloody bastard sat now. And there's another issue as well. So I'm going there to basically show them that my front discs are warped already. Don't know why, but when I move the bike forward, there's a certain spot of a few degrees where uh, it's like a massive squeaky noise like, as it's going through. And that is a warped disc and I can actually feel it when I'm in neutral and I'm coasting down a hill or whatever. Uh, it's very very mo noticeable and so I'm basically going in for them just to have a look at that and see if you know what they can do and it'll be another warranty claim probably really nice area this it's nice to see some different views okay in one mile I'm basically going through Frodshire I don't know why it's taking me this way I could have gone a completely different way but now it's decided to take me completely there uh, around the houses again sorry Moggy if you're watching this this is why I'm late but it's just nice to get out and see some different views, you know, because it gets a bit tedious doing the same stuff. And I'm not going to lie, I've kind of fallen out of love with biking a little bit of, of late. You know, I've not really been asked to go out and make videos. I can't really be bothered riding. And I don't know, I've just got m not more important things to do. That sounds a bit bad, but I've got different things to do. You know, I'm, I'm interested in different things at the minute. You know, just have a nice little potter about and random places. I've not done this in a while and it's nice. So yeah, I've not really been up for doing much with the bikes of late but I've got lots of stuff to do with it and the thing is I just haven't had any money to buy stuff for it you know and I'm actually waiting for um, uh, gift cards to come out because basically because of all the issues that I've had with the bike I'm expecting a gift card from Triumph to, uh, from KTM to basically say sorry for all the shit you've been through I haven't had any any word or any notice of that so that's been a bit annoying to be honest Yeah, so that's been a bit, a little bit annoying. This is Frodsham, by the way. Really nice little place. It reminds me a lot of like a bigger version of Bala, and the village next to Bala, where there's like the, the run through. You can tell it's a Roman kind of village because uh, the straight road through it and all the things on one side to the other. So yeah, I'm waiting for a big, big gift card apparently, and I've. It's been months and I haven't heard anything from it. I keep chasing it up, but I've not gotten anywhere. So I'm not sure where that is, but. Uh, That'll be nice. It's looking to be about three to five hundred pound apparently. So that'll be nice to spend some money on this thing because I can uh, get the comfort seat and I can get some bits of carbon and stuff. You know, a little bits and bobs. Uh, I also need to still do the heel tech on this because the servo motor is really pissing me off with the MCS failure. So that's another thing to do. And then we've also got uh, the bars to put on, which I was going to do today, but all this has happened now. Now I'm having to go to the fucking police station after this. So yeah, I know this road. I don't know why it took me this way. <laughs> I really don't. But oh well. Really nice day for it. This is like perfect conditions for me you know it's not too hot the wind is just nice sun shining a few weeks ago it was it was horrible it was like absolutely just disgusting weather 30 odd degrees upwards to 40 and it was just i can't ride in that shit man so basically i've put my old plate back on and i'm just gonna keep my nose clean at the minute you know nothing too fancy oh you're cool Wow, there's a housing estate there. What the fuck? They are going up everywhere, aren't they? This is horrible. They're everywhere. They can't just have a field anymore. They're just fucking housing estates. 169, eh? That's not bad. Petrol's gone down. Better than paying £2.6. I can't believe I did that the other week. Jesus Christ. All right, come on, knob cheese. Get a move on. Pull in. Fucking dick. Jesus Christ. So, weirdly enough, I think this place... It's where I bought my Harley from. Years and years ago, I went and bought a Harley. And it was probably the worst biking decision I've ever made. What a piece of shit that bike was. Within four or five months, that bike had just turned into a fucking rust bucket. Like, so bad. I ended up selling it to Intermoto and swapped it in, basically, for my MT-07. Yeah, it was, it was a really bad bike. And just riding it on our roads with roundabouts and all that kind of stuff, it was despicable was not built for our roads at all so never again but i actually think that this place this is where that was 
Yeah, come on, dickhead, put your fucking foot down. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my fucking God. Get in that fucking lane, knobhead. I'm not undertaking him. What are you doing? If you're not going to do the speed limit, why are you in this fucking lane? So now that I've done a few mile on this thing, I've done sort of, you know, 1300 mile on it now, and I'm starting to notice the uh, changes in the in the suspension, definitely. It's a lot more saggy now, it's a lot more floaty, it definitely feels different. Oh, there's the smell. <coughs> so we've got the Shell Oil Refinery next to me here at Ellesmere Port. Going past this place every time, it is absolutely horrible. Look at that, this monstrosity there. Fucking horrible thing. Yeah, the suspension is a lot more lumbery and sort of squishy and very bouncy feeling. So definitely one uh, one thing I'm going to do is start tinkering with the suspension a bit more now, now that it's sort of bedded in. You know, it is there. It is the place. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So it is. Uh, it is the place that the Harley place used to be, or at least was. There was a Harley place and a BMW place up, up upstairs of it. <laughs> Sounds nice that. The only thing I like about Harleys is the sound of them. They sound amazing. Now I wonder where Moggy is. Sorry Moggs. Yeah, KTM and then the yeah the Harleys dealership pistol here. Cool. Fucking don't even get me started on this shit. Fucking sat nav. Hey? Fucking sat nav. Oh, I'm there. Fucking hell, mate. Oh, hello. You alright, mate? How are you? Yeah, I'm alive. 